the, the article which I wrote for the encyclopedia is about theology and evolution, uh, which is, um, uh, I think, a, a, a very um, a contested issue uh, in the field of faith and science. Faith and science, or science and religion, is an enormous, uh, enormously blossoming field these days. We have now um, come to discover that 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 it's it's simply false to suggest that there was always and only a, a conflictual relationship between the two. That is the the myth which is um, uh, widespread in the media, for example, and among the popular audience often that the more you have of religion, the, the less you can have of science. And the other way around, if you are really taking science seriously, then you shouldn't have, uh, you shouldn't bother about religion that much. That's that's a kind of myth- mythological construction which which is at odds with with what's going on uh, in the actual practice of um, of scientific theories, uh, scientific theory formation. Uh, and all the presuppositions that come along with that, and also uh, religious views of life, which are far more, far more nuanced often than the just being opposed to to science. And one of the fields uh, which on which I focus in this article is uh, is one of the most contested areas in this in this fields, the the theory of uh, biological evolution, um, which of course became most uh, prominent through the work of Charles Darwin. But we have had evolutionary theories uh, before Darwin, but because of Darwin's work, um, Darwin succeeded in uh, showing somehow, at least uh, convincing us that um, the biodiv- biodiversity can be explained by, by evolution, um, by, by natural selection based on random mutations. And that has raised a lot of theological uh, questions uh, right from the start. And people have been wrestling with that and also um, fighting each other about the implications of evolutionary theory for, uh, for their, uh, their faith. Uh, I try to to de- describe um, in, uh, that that's that was important to me in an, uh, an impartial way um, how these different positions can be uh, understood and um, also where they can be found. I mean, if you are let's say raised in a Lutheran tradition or in an Episcopalian tradition or an Eastern Orthodox tradition, um, what would that mean for your take on evolutionary theory? The relationship between science and religion is, in fact, characterized by what I call complexity. So there is no uh, one and only one way in which uh, uh, science and religion uh, or evolution and theology uh, uh, relate. It's not that um, uh, when you are in favor of the one, you should be against the other. Uh, But there are many other uh, configurations uh, uh, working.